Okay. So in this video, I will be discussing to you your final output for the subject mathematics in the modern world. Okay. So as usual as what I have done to the previous video or to the previous task that you have done, I divided the task into two. So the first task, you are going to subscribe and like the video. I will be updating you again on the list of names of the students okay, in our group chat. Then, comment your first name and the first letter of your family name together with your section and schedule for this subject. So in the previous video, I just let you do first name and the family name. But I find it hard to locate your section so i'll add your section and schedule for this subject for example my name my the first letter of my family name this would be my section and then this is my schedule for this subject and then of course continue watching the video for the second Okay, so let's proceed then to the second task. Okay, answer what is being asked. So we have the first one. Answer the given problem using Hamiltonian circuit. So where are you going to find this topic? You can find this topic sa ating module 7. Okay, sa module 7 siya. Mahahanap. Okay, so let's say for example, this one. Actually, this is the activity. So, the distance between Manila to Cebu, Manila to CDO, Manila to Davao, Manila to Palawan, Manila to Ozamis, and the distance from Cebu to the other places. So, Manila to Cebu is 355. Manila to CDO is 485, Manila to Davao is 589, Manila to Palawan is 358, then Manila to Uzamis is 477, and so on. So you are going to use this data for your output. Okay? Next. Upon having the data, you are going to do the following. Okay, you are going to make or you are going to draw a graph along with the weight of the edges. So, drawing siya at makikita mo yung example doon din sa ating module. Next one. Ito naman yung susunod na task. Pagkatapos mong i-draw. Using Hamiltonian circuit, find two shortest routes and draw them together with their total distance. Okay? So, having the data, tapos, draw mo yung whole data, after that one, hanapin mo yung dalawang shortest route. Okay? Tapos, draw mo sila. So, dalawa ang draw mo na shortest route. Okay, so let's have this letter D. So where are you going to put your output? So put your output in a 1-8 illustration board. So for the famili familiarity of others, illustration board or yung cardboard. So doon po natin ilalagay ang ating output. And then, the next one. Letter E. Okay. So here's how are we how are we going to judge your work or how are, you, are we going to evaluate your work? Make your work presentable by using different colors and design for the edges para makita natin yung difference ng mga distances ng different places. Okay? Okay, so let's see kung paano kaya ang look ng inyong output para siyang ganito. So, this is your illustration board. So, let's say, for example, this is your 1-8 illustration board. Pakipili yung 
medyo makapal na illustration board. Okay, huwag yung ang nipis-nipis na illustration board. Okay, so from this illustration board, you are going to divide this into two. Ayan. But, but do not cut. You just put a line. And then, put a line also there. So, ganyan ang magiging itsura ng inyong 1-8 illustration board. So, yung corner dito, this corner, this is where you are going to draw or make your graph along with the weights of the edges. So, nakasulat din dapat yung distances niya. At ganyan yung example niya. So, ganito lang yung example, guys. Pero yung data natin is yung table kanina. Next one, itong corner naman na to at yung corner na yon using Hamiltonian circuit, draw the two fastest or shortest route and label their distances. So, dito mo na siya draw Dito yung isa, dito yung isa. Yung shortest daw. And then, this corner naman, at this corner, this is where you are going to write your solution. Proving that the two were the shortest route. Para ma-prove natin na yun yung dalawang uh, shortest. For example, yun. Okay, so, at yun. So, from this, 5,197 is the one of the shortest route. Another one is 5,154. Okay, so your output will look like this. Please write your name at the back of this illustration board. Okay? Next, proceed. Okay, so this is the rubrics for checking. So this is how we are going to check. The first one is the completeness. Okay, so dapat complete yung inyong output para mabigyan kayo ng mataas na marka. Okay, so you will be getting 10 points if the edges are complete and connected to the proper edge using a line. So the distance between two edges were labeled properly. So dapat na-label siya properly. So you will get 8 points naman from this output if the edges are complete and some edges were not connected using a line. Okay, some edges were not connected using a line. And then, some distance between two edges were not labeled properly also. So, dapat uh, malabel mo siya properly. Okay, so sa 5 naman, you will get 5 points if the edges are not complete and the edges were not connected properly. Distances between two edges were not labeled properly also. Okay, so that would be for the first one, completeness. And then the second one is for the artistry. Okay, so papasok ang pagiging artistic ng isang estudyante. So first one, we have the 10 points. 10 points, the output is clean and free of erasures. The lines used were straight and the edges were drawn in a clean circle. So, I think you're going to use rulers here and, of course, some tools para at least straight yung line and smooth yung pagkakasircle. And then, 8 points naman. The output is clean and few erasures were visible. So, konting erasure daw siya. Then some of the lines used were not straight and some of the edges were not drawn in a clean circle. And then you will get 5 points if the output is messy with many visible erasures. The lines were not drawn properly including the edges. Okay, so that would be for the artistry. Let's move on to the last. Okay, so this would be the last uh, thing that you have to comply for you to get a high score. So, let's have these 10 points. So, you'll be getting 10 points if all the two answers are correct and the solutions are shown in a systematic way. So, you are going to draw. It should be correct. It should be labeled properly. And the solutions were shown in a systematic way. Okay, so, you will get 8 points. 8 points all the two answers are correct 
okay? But the solutions are not presented in a systematic way. Okay? Even if your answers are correct, if the solutions were not presented in a systematic way, you will get 8 points. Then 5 points, one of the two answers are correct and the solutions are not presented in a systematic way. And then, you will get 0 of course if you will not pass your output. Next one, so we have the submission. So, you are going to shop. Submit your output at room 104 only, regardless of the instructor. So, the date of submission will be announced by the school Facebook. Okay, so school Facebook will give you the announcement on when are you going to pass your output. So, always be updated. 